Hello and good day everyone. My name is Dr. Fairo and today we'll be discussing on the first aid treatment of burn injuries. Before that, let's discuss a bit about burn injuries. A damaged skin due to burn can no longer function as a natural barrier, thus it is prone for infection. In addition, there may be loss of body fluids due to leakage of tiny vessel in the skin. This fluid may accumulate to form blisters or leaks through the surface. Massive burns may cause significant fluid loss and lead to shock. Burns may also be related with other injuries such as inhalation injuries and infection may develop later. There are multiple types of burn. One, Dry burn due to direct contact with hot surface or flames. Second, electrical burn due to exposed to lightning strikes or low or high voltage currents. Third, chemical burn due to exposure to industrial chemicals or domestic chemicals and agents. Fourth, scalp burn due to exposure to hot liquids such as coffee hot oil, and also steam. The last one is radiation burn, which the most common type is a sunburn, or can be caused also due to exposure to ultraviolet rays or radioactive source such as x-ray. Burns are classified based on the severity of skin damage. There are three degrees of burn. First one is first degree, also known as a superficial burn, which involves only the epidermis. In superficial burn, there are tenderness, redness, and swelling of the skin. In a second degree burn, also known as a partial thickness burn, the whole epidermis are affected. The skin may become red and raw, and there may be blocked blisters formation. And third one is a third degree burn, also known as a full thickness burn, which involves epidermis as well as the dermis. In a third degree burn, there may be some damage to nerves, fat tissues, muscles, and blood vessels. The target of first aid treatment in burn injuries are 1. To stop the burning process 2. To prevent risk of infection and 3. To minimize swelling and reduce pain Firstly, irrigate the affected part with cold water for at least 10 minutes or until pain is elevated Any constricting clothing, watches, belts or jewelry should be removed from the affected area before it becomes swollen. Once the burnt area is cooled, cover it with a sterile gauze or dressing. Then the area should be bandaged loosely as it later may become swollen. Few important points. Only antibiotic ointments can be applied on burns. Prevent from using adhesive dressing or tape because skin may be damaged when removing them later. Do not puncture blisters. Cover the blister with a non-adhesive sterile dressing if it breaks or it is likely to burst. It is not recommended to use any sort of specialized gels, sprays or dressing to cool down burns. Few conditions related to burns which mandates urgent referral to the hospital are 1. Extreme age groups, child or elderly 2. All second degree burns larger than 10% of the total body surface area 3. All third degree burns 4. Inhalation injury 5. Chemical burns 6. Electrical burns 7. All burns involving major joints, genital area feet, hands, and face. And last one, burn patients complicated with other injuries. Thank you very much everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video 
have a nice day.